Bumisita sa PTV Sports si two-time Olympian Stephen Fernandez para ibahagi ang kanyang taekwondo journey at mga pagbabago na nangyari dito. Paar, panoorin niyo ito. Welcome to Sports Chef. For this episode, we have a very special guest, an Olympian, an icon in the world of Taekwondo. Please welcome Mr. Steven Fernandez. Hello, Brian. It's a pleasure to be on your show and uh, good day to all the televiewers. Yeah. Master Pen, before we were just talking on Zoom. Ngayon, para rin tayo nag-Zoom on, kaya lang face-to-face tayo ngayon. Oo, oh, dahil matagal tayo nag-Zoom. And in fact, this is the first time na face-to-face ulit tayo nagkasama sa ganitong pagkakataon. For the benefit of the viewers, because not all know that you were uh, you're an Olympian. Yes. Kumbaga, you did it on two occasions. Can you run us through that again? I first, of course, represented the country uh, prior to the Olympics in the Southeast Asian Games, uh, the Asian Championships, and of course, my alma mater, uh, De La Salle University. And that paved the way for me and my uh, teammate, brother, Monsur De Losario to represent the country in the first staging mm -hmm. of Taekwondo and in 1988 in Seoul, uh, the land where it all began. And then later on, I was able to go back and eventually bring home a medal in 92 in Barcelona, that famous uh, games where they shot the, the arrow to the, to the, the, the flame, mm -hmm. to light the flame. The Taekwondo's evolved into something different. It's bigger now. I mean, before, yes. like I was telling you earlier, most of the gins were just, siguro, sabi natin, in Manila. Manila lang. Pero ngayon, umabot sa provinces, eh, di ba? Yung sinabi mo. Yes, that's true, no? Uh, unlike before, talagang concentrated yung mga varsity uh, players, national team members in Metro Manila. But because of the program since the 80s to the present, naging very diverse ngayon yung pag-develop ng Taekwondo. In fact, many of our national, international champions have come from the different provinces, from Luzon to Mindanao. So it's very big now, especially pagdating sa not just sparring, but even in Pumse. There's a lot of following now in Pumse. And of course, hindi mawawala yung Kyurugi or sparring. You, I, and Monsur were discussing the differences between them. Dati, kumbaga, how would you call that? Very physical tayo. Yes. One point is one point. But I understand now it's a lot different. There are, I'm surprised to find out that there are kicks that can reward any fighter five points. Am I right? Yes, kasi nung panahon natin, again, not too long ago, oh. <laughs> uh, ang scoring was talagang uh, by, by point, no? just one or two points. But the game has evolved, especially being admitted into the Olympic Games. It has to be very transparent and safe. That's why not develop the electronic scoring system wherein the players' uh, scores are determined by the sensors on their chest and their feet. And then, of course, uh, uh, it passes through the computer system to generate the score. So we have scoring now, Tamaka, uh, mm -hmm. Brian, from one point to five points. So if you punch, it is one point. And now, if you kick to the body, uh, 45 or roundhouse kick to the body, it's two points, which is only one point before. And then, ngayon, ang, of course, ang head kicks is uh, three points. A turning kick to the body, which is only one point before, is now four points. And a turning kick to the head, you can be given five points. So, talagang ano na, uh, very, very kumbaga. They want it to be for the audience, mm -hmm. uh, spectator sport. With the scoring system, kasi I know before, ang uso dun eh, Para matapos yung laban ka agad, knock out. Knock out. Di ba? Or you do something na may hilo yung kalaban mo. Is the frequency of that these days different? Well, before there were more knockouts uh, during the 80s and the 90s. But the world really has caught up mm -hmm. and the sport has really improved uh, the level of skill of the different players. So meron pa rin but not as high as before. Mm -hmm. Because the players today are well conditioned. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are more protective equipment uh, around their, their bodies, their heads, their feet. And like before, wala naman gloves, walang rubber mats, walang headgears. So now it's very safe, so it lessened that. But minsan, hindi mo maiwasan. It does happen, but very rare na lang. Uh, top players before, well, uh, maybe up to now, who was the toughest one that you faced in competitions? Ah, many. Uh, from my seniors, I would say Arnold Baradi and Mike Ventosa were very tough to compete against and I learned from them because they were playing in lighter weights but they were more experienced when I came into the team and when I got into the team um, 
medyo na ang talagang sasabihin ko nahirapan na rin ako later on of course you have naging uh, teammates ko Bobby Vargas, Dean mm -hmm. Vargas, Jun Lopez. Mm -hmm. These were the tough fighters of our time during the time na naglalaro kami and sabi ko nga biruan namin we train together, we run together. But pagdating ng mga one week, hindi na kami nag-uusap before the competition. But after the game, all things are normal again. Joking around, playing around, going out together for lunch, having a drink after. So, ganun lang. Does that explain why it was so easy for Bayel Rosero? Gymnastics siya yes. before to transition to Taekwondo. Yes, Bayel naman, when she entered the team, she had already all that uh, discipline in her. Uh, she was already fit as an athlete, as a gymnast. And what our grandmaster had to teach her na lang was the technical skill of Taekwondo, learning the basic kicks, how to apply this into a point uh, situation. Mm -hmm. So, ganon. So, she was very determined when we were playing and competing and training together. That's why si Bea really, uh, kumaga, I would say, created that big awareness that you know, female Taekwondo jeans are, are also, kumaga, the female in the uh, Filipino population can excel. So, nung nag-taekwondo siya, dumami talaga yung mga kababaihan natin na nag-taekwondo. Again, again, you mentioned mga kababaihan. Nung time natin, hirap na hirap tayo pag tayo ng, ng women's team before. Yes. Was that the time na nag-change siya when Bea came into the picture? When Bea came in, well, before naman she came in, we had a national team okay. already of uh, composed of women. But when she came in, and of course, she won medals for the country, uh, more became interested because they thought before that Taekwondo would only be suitable for men. Mm -hmm. And yun pala, hindi. Mm -hmm. And despite that, you know, the, the lady, the women can look very gracious mm -hmm. and very artistic when they move uh, and execute those different Taekwondo movements. Hey, Master Fen, uh, before we end, I'd like to get your final words. Uh, okay, uh, of course, uh, Brian, Sir Brian, again, maraming salamat sa pag mo sa akin dito sa show. Uh, matagal na tayo magkaibigan, mag-teammate, and uh, nakakataba ng puso na hindi mo ako nakakalimutan all this time and all these years. So I thank you for this opportunity and I hope uh, to be back on your show. Of course. And uh, of course, to share to all the Taekwondo uh, practitioners out there, for me, ituloy lang nila ang dream of excelling in the sport and keep the spirit alive always.